Plans to expand the convention center and add much needed hotel rooms here to downtown Indy have tonight cleared a major hurdle. And now the hotel will be owned by the city. Our Rachel Krause is in studio looking into how Indy plans to pay for this massive project. Rachel. Well, the Metropolitan and Economic Development Committee voted 9-3 to three to move forward with a plan to take over financing of redeveloping Pan Am Plaza, including a convention center expansion and building an 800-room Hilton Hotel. The plan isn't new. It's been part of a larger expansion to the convention center and adding needed hotel rooms to the downtown for nearly a decade. But now that plan is pivoting from a developer-financed plan to a city-owned hotel after the developer hit a major snag. Kite came to us uh, early in the year and said we cannot find private financing for the project. We looked at what other cities were doing. Over 25 other cities have already done this model of financing publicly these types of projects. And frankly, it allows them to issue bonds on a tax exempt basis and to find that, you know, this is a project that we can take on ourselves and have comfort that it's going to get done. So how is it being paid for? The council already approved a $125 million project in TIF funds for the convention center expansion. And the city will need to buy the site at Pan Am Plaza for $50 million. The hotel's $510 million price tag plus additional funds needed for debt services reserves will be backed and paid for by the hotel revenues themselves. So taxpayers are not on the hook for this. But Chris Gall with Visit Indy says the cost of not going ahead with this project could cost Indy far more. If this project doesn't take flight, we will absolutely lose convention business. We'll stay stagnant, if not take steps back. And we don't want to do that for the important reason that 83,000 men and women depend on tourism for a paycheck. Gall says moving ahead with the expansion of the convention center and hotel has the potential to bring in $3 billion in business from new conventions, existing conventions, and new tourism dollars for Indy over the next decade. Now, the Metropolitan Development Commission will be meeting on Wednesday to approve buying the site for the hotel, which the developer Kite currently owns. Then that decision will go before the council for a final vote in June. It'll be exciting to see what ends up happening there. Yeah. Rachel Krause, thanks so much.